update, 9.30 p.m., one individual has been killed and four firefighters were injured while battling the fire which broke out in Trump Tower on Saturday, according to CNN. The person who didn't survive was a resident on the 50th floor, although details on his identity are limited. It's being reported that he was a 67-year-old man who was discovered unconscious when he was carried out. The cause of the fire is still not clear to investigators. Original story, a fire mysteriously broke out on the 50th floor of Trump Tower in New York City on Saturday, April 7. The police department and fire department have already been dispatched to manage the growing inferno. It started around 6 p.m. EST, according to CBS News, since, video after video has been captured by average New Yorkers showing flames and dark smoke billowing out of President Donald Trump's, 71, iconic home. Thus far, one individual has reportedly been seriously injured, according to Q13 Fox. The NY Police Department have shared that the nearby intersection of 5th Avenue and West 57th Street will be facing heavier traffic and closures in an effort to combat the fire. The blaze was watched by hundreds of New Yorkers on the ground and at nearby windows as firefighters arrived. It should be noted that the president's office is on the 26th floor. Of course, he was Washington, D.C. at the time of the blaze. At 7.42 p.m. EST, the president took to Twitter to announce that the fire has been extinguished. Fire at Trump Tower is out, very confined, well-built building, he wrote, shameless plugging his reputation as a builder. Firemen, and women, did a great job. Thank you. Fire at Trump Tower is out, very confined, well-built building. Firemen, and women, did a great job. Thank you, Donald J. Trump. At Real Donald Trump, April 7, 2018 Trump Tower was at the center of another crisis in August of 2016 when a man named Stephen Rogater, who went by Steve from Virginia, scaled the building from the outside. The incident captured the nation and forced NYC to allocate countless resources in order to get him off the building in one piece. His terrifying ascent ended with officers eventually yanking him inside, so, why did he scale the then candidate for president's building? He claimed to be an independent researcher with important information for Trump. It was never confirmed if he delivered his message, 